Since the 2024 calendar year rolled over, most talk has centred around Boeing and its quality concerns, which stemmed, as you may be aware, from the door blowout incident on a 737 MAX jet. Since this incident, Boeing has faced investigations from all corners, alongside audits, into how persistent quality slips are continuing to occur. Tracking back to the late 2010s, Boeing's failures with the MAX, which led to two fatal crashes, changed how aircraft were certified, with much more scrutiny involved. While the added layer of scrutiny was ultimately to enhance safety, it did impact everyone in the industry significantly in different ways. Now, Airbus's CEO has spoken on Boeing's recent troubles at a conference in Germany, saying he's not happy with what's been happening at the American plane maker. Ultimately, the head of Airbus said that Boeing's problems, while directly obviously impacting the business of that respective company, are still felt industry-wide. These comments highlight the consensus that a well-working Boeing, while providing further competition, is healthier for the broader industry, and something that all parties would prefer. The CEO added that safety and quality are the most prominent pillars of focus in an industry that needs these to be at the highest standard at any given moment. Because at the end of the day, our aviation industry is very safe still, despite these incidents, but we know the apparent risks that are always going to be present when putting an aircraft in the sky. To ultimately fail so many safety and quality tests on a repeated basis, like what we've seen at Boeing, is not only far from ideal, as highlighted by some analysts, and not just concerning, but also generally embarrassing. Boeing is not new to the industry, and they should have these things under lock. Lastly, to take a look at, is a title to keep. Airbus overtook Boeing as the leading aircraft manufacturer, now several years ago, and despite the effects of the pandemic, they've not given up that title. How they acquired it? Well, it was a little bit unconventional, and obviously massively unfortunate, as it was the max crisis that saw so many lives perish that saw Airbus gain an upper hand. While Boeing was making positive inroads towards regaining its maybe former glory before the 2024 incidents, it was still a considerable distance away from European plane maker Airbus. And and following the door blowout and obviously the quality concerns that came from it, analysts argue that Boeing has taken two steps back and undone any work that potentially it completed over the last few years. However, given the scope of all the failed quality tests, many are now arguing just how much work was actually done and whether or not it was all a complete facade. Airbus can keep the number one manufacturer title uncontested, you'd say, for quite a bit longer now. However, with the substantial Substantial negative impact of Boeing's problems in the industry, and as being discussed by Airbus's head, you'd actually argue that a more competitive Boeing would be more beneficial to Airbus than a title, or at the very least, a title that is fiercely competed for would be healthier. It is why I always say that it's very frustrating that Boeing is in this position. Obviously, they have no one else to blame bar themselves, but a well performing Boeing is actually good, not just for Airbus, but everyone in the industry. Competition feeds innovation and better safety and much more. But in this case, Boeing has fallen off from the pack so much that by Airbus simply existing the way it does, it is going to continue to claim that title. And while in some areas complacency may come into play, for Airbus they can't afford this. They need to continue pushing down on the gas. But ultimately, they'll probably secretly want Boeing just to be doing better. Not for them, not for their competition, but for airlines and and our industry as a whole. If you have any thoughts, you're more than welcome to drop them down below in the comments. Thank you very much for your support. Do take care and do also be safe. I will see you next time for more coverage on the industry.